We like to boondock whenever we can in our Road Trek 190 popular, and that means getting out into the woods. Uh, maybe it means just not being in a campground that has electric hookups. And so one of the things you have to think about if you like to boondock is power consumption. And a key part of that can be your lights. A while back, we converted our fluorescent overhead tube lights to LEDs. We used the original fixtures and we found a company that makes direct replacements. You could pull out the old fluorescent tubes with their ballasts and replace them with these LED lights. And there's a write-up available that we did that kind of gives you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how we did that project. We are now getting more light from these three overhead fixtures at a fraction of the power usage that we used to have with the old-fashioned fluorescent tubes. So LEDs are certainly the way to go if you're trying to save battery power. Another lighting project that I've been wanting to do and quite honestly didn't really have the time and have sort of been procrastinating about is replacing the bulbs in the puck lights. We have two of these up front uh, in the cab here in our Class B. We have one that is the identical unit down in our storage bay underneath the vehicle. And then we have three small lights in the back that are set up as reading lights. I have never really liked the reading lights in the back of the road track. I think they use up more power out of the battery than they're worth, considering how much light they give out. They give off a lot of heat because of the type of bulbs that are in them. And this is a pretty simple procedure to replace them. It's really just a matter of carefully prying off these covers that are over them. And you have to be careful because there are tabs, plastic tabs that you don't want to break. But getting a small screwdriver in there and carefully prying them off, they came off relatively easy for me. And then you just got to pull the bulb that's there and replace it with the right LED type of disc that will go into that fixture. You can see in this comparison here, the bulb on the right is the old incandescent style bulb. It's pretty dim, not giving out a lot of light. The one on the left is the brand new LED disc bulb that I put in there. Uh, you can aim these, so that will help us because I think sometimes that new LED light may have a little bit more glare on it than we're used to because it's so much brighter. Uh, but, you know, look at the light it's giving out in comparison, and yet you're using just a fraction of the power out of your battery. So overall, I think it was a good improvement. And we'll see if we've lived with them for a while, how we like them. But so far, so good. There are two different types of the LED disc bulbs that you need to get for the road trek that we have. And everybody's lights are a little bit different based on the style of RV they have. But I think there is some consistency when it comes to uh, the types of bulbs and the types of pins that are used. So for those front puck lights that are over the front cab, there's a flat disc LED replacement and it's going to have what they call the side pins and you can see that there the pins come out to one side and that's because of the way the light is going to slide into the uh, light fixture to replace the old bulb. The other type is a disc type of LED that has what they refer to as the back pins and as you hopefully can see here you have the bulb itself or the LED uh, bulb fixtures there and the pins that allow it to connect to power are right in the, they come straight out of the back. And so it's a rear pin versus a side pin bulb that you need to be looking for based on the type of fixture that you have. It's not about the bulb you're replacing, it's about the type of fixture. Do the bulbs slide in from one side or do the bulbs go straight up into the unit? And that's gonna make the difference on whether you need a side pin LED or a back pin LED. The puck lights are really simple. You really just have to twist the lens and there's these little plastic tabs. So you wanna be careful with those again, but they come off pretty easily. And then you simply wiggle that old bulb out of there. And you can see that's the old incandescent bulb. You take this new flat LED disc and you line it up with the holes in the fixture. Slide that in, make sure it's working. Wow, that's bright, especially without a lens cover on it. 
Then you put this lens cover back on, give it a twist. Make sure it's tight, especially since this is the one over the driver's seat. I don't want it to fall out and hit me while I'm going down the road. And that's a little better now with the cover on it. It's a little more diffused lighting. Another thing you want to consider when you're buying LED bulbs is the warmth of the bulb. And you can see I've replaced in these front puck lights. Uh, they're very close in color. The one on the right has been replaced with an LED. So it's putting out more light and it's doing it while using up a lot less battery power. But it's very similar to the light on the left, which is the original incandescent bulb. Uh, and that is a little bit um, softer and more yellow. So the LED is brighter and gives out more light, but it's got sort of a, a yellowish hue to it. So it's a little more warm, a little more like the original bulbs. Another good example of a difference in the warmth of a light is when we did the overhead lights, the ones along the middle of the van uh, are more of the soft white. It's not the super bright blue LED type lighting. But let me show you, if I turn this off and we go to the one that's just above the couch and then our bed, you can see it's a little bit more of a yellow glow to it. It's not quite as bright. And that is the warm white that we went for more of the bedroom area. It was a little less glaring when we were back there at night. This is a pretty simple do-it-yourself project. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You just have to take your time, have some patience, make sure you're not doing anything too fast where you're gonna break a tab off on one of your light fixtures or something like that. But it's about as easy as changing a light bulb, I guess, if I wanted to go there. Yeah, sure, I did. It's as easy as changing a light bulb. So don't put it off anymore. Go order some bulbs and get them replaced. Save yourself some battery power and get out there and boondock. I would recommend doing it in a warmer time of year because I didn't bother to heat up the van today and my fingers are going to fall off now. But all in all, great project. Keep on trekking and we'll see you out there with more light for less battery power. Then you put this lens cover back on. Then you put this lens cover back on. You line up the tabs, twist. You put the old lens cover back on by lining up the tabs, by lining up the tabs, 